At this workshop on the outskirts of Nairobi, mushrooms are being processed, not as food, but as a building material. Mycelium, the root structure of mushrooms, is combined with sugarcane waste, known as bagasse, to make insulation blocks and panels. This, uh, after uh, now introducing the mushroom spawn into the uh, sugarcane bagasse, this is more or less fully colonized. So the mushroom fibers have gone through the uh, waste and bonded it together into the panel. So in the next day, we'll now be air drying this uh, uh, ready for now installation. These panels, according to Kililo, can be used in walls, roofs and interiors as an affordable alternative. Mycotile collects waste from sugar factories struggling to dispose of it. Kililo believes this approach could also make construction cleaner. The building industry contributes to close to 40% of our carbon emissions uh, through the building life, the extraction process uh, and also the embodied carbon that the buildings have. Uh, by introducing a material that is actually waste, uh, tackling waste that would have gone to landfill and release a lot of carbon, we capture that carbon in the building. Uh, by insulating building, it means they are using less energy in terms of heating and cooling the space. A more affordable building material could go a long way to bridge the Kenyan capital's housing gap. The government's affordable housing program aims to address this, but many still find themselves priced out. In Kibera, one of Africa's largest informal settlements, one resident says the fungi-based panels have made her home more comfortable. The affordable housing project currently under construction is still too expensive for me and I simply cannot afford it. However, this place is good enough and livable. It's neither cold at night nor hot during the day. Experts have hailed innovations like mycotiles, saying they could make homes healthier. Some of the materials that we have been using in the building industry have harmful chemicals. We call PFAS, about seven chemicals that are harmful. Either they are in, used for improving the performance of the materials, and those materials, those chemicals have health impact. Now, using bio-based materials like mycelium help you to have a built indoor environment that is quite safe because it's much close to the nature. You don't have this exposure to harmful chemicals. As the Nairobi skyline expands, Michael Tile and others hope their fungi-based materials can offer a greener foundation for Africa's growing cities. Joy Kiruki Juma, CGTN.